everyone! Long time no see. I actually just was filming this video and got like a quarter of the way through and my card was full of video that I had deleted but I hadn't formatted the card. So I just formatted the whole thing and got rid of everything I just filmed. So take two! Basically I just want to do a little catch up with you guys. Uh, I was originally going to film a tutorial but my skin is very much not up to tutorial standards. Looks okay from a distance not so much close up. I will film a tutorial soon. Um, I really wanted to do a bunch of Halloween tutorials this year but my October was pretty dang crappy so that's a thing. So far November has been really good so it kind of balances out I guess. We just wrapped uh, on shooting a web series. Uh, I was working with Shauna Nanalu here on YouTube and so that will be up sometime in the spring. It's called Mara and Chen. Keep an eye out for it. That set was just so nice to work on. Everyone meshed really, really well together and I love all of you that were involved. I'm actually really sad that none of us really live close together, but if any of you want to hang out and are watching this, just, uh, just email me or something. That was a really, really good time and it was a week-long shoot, so that has been half of my November leading up to this point. The rest of it has just been normal work stuff. But working on set kind of kicked my butt into gear and it got me a little bit more motivated and inspired, I guess. Um, so hence why I'm filming for the first time in three months. Since I didn't film any Halloween tutorials, maybe I will do a few more dramatic and costumey type looks somewhere in the winter time. Because I really did miss Halloween this year basically didn't do anything, which is upsetting because it's my favorite time of year. I guess Christmas is a close second, so maybe I'll do some holiday costume looks. <laughs> Since I'm not doing a tutorial today, I'm going to do the Fortune Cookie soap, Soapbox unboxing. And my battery's dying. Um, something doesn't want me to film this video. So I will change the battery and be right back. Thank goodness for backup batteries. The theme of this one is old-fashioned family Christmas and I actually really like that theme and I've already opened two things from this and they both smell amazing so I think so far the Christmas boxes have been my favorite because last year was Nightmare Before Christmas and as many of you probably know it's one of my favorite films. And the first thing is this cuticle butter and I absolutely adore their cuticle butters. Uh, the scent of this one is called Moose Mug, and the description is rich cream, egg, and a touch of nutmeg. So it's supposed to be like an egg, eggnog scent, and it smells so good. It smells a little bakery-ish uh, and vanilla-y with a little tiny bit of spices, which would be the nutmeg, and their cuticle butters are so amazing. You don't even know. They're probably one of my favorite things. To receive in these boxes and sorry the sun is like really glaring on my face right now the sun's been setting so I'm like progressively having to move farther back and back to get out of the the light there um, anyways their cuticle butters are absolutely to die for I actually had another one from them it was the marshmallow scent from their candy box maybe I was super upset because it melted in the car because I left it in my purse in the car during work day and yeah, it just melted and went away and got all over everything in my purse. So I'm super excited to have another of their cuticle butters because they are amazing and you get a ton of product in here. Like this is basically a full size cuticle butter from any other company and it's amazing and filled right to the top. Oh, so good. Let me just fix the light here because this is just, this is too much happening on this side. Hold on. So after cuticle butter, there is the OCD hand sanitizer. Um, which I really love because theirs don't tend to smell super alcoholy for a very long time. So the scent of this one is Meliki Liki Maka, and the description says tropical spice rum, Tahitian vanilla, uh, sprinkled with jasmine petals and twisted woods. So it sounds like they're going for a Hawaiian type scent, just like the song, and oh it smells so good. Basically just after you rub it into your hands and you can't feel it any longer, the alcohol scent goes away, which is fantastic because I find that um, a lot of the Bath and Body Works ones are super strong. It smells so good. It is quite a tropical scent as you would imagine. And you do kind of smell the, the woods in there, like on the dry down notes. So next on the list is 
the Fortune Beauty Soap, which I always leave till last. So the one after that is the Hydrate Me, um, and those are the solid body bars. The scent of this one is called Sparky, <laughs> and um, the description is scrumptious vanilla pumpkin waffles topped with brown sugar, pecans, and sheets of fresh whipped cream. Oh boy, that sounds good. It looks like they might come in a couple, few different colors because the picture of it is orange and the one I got is green. And they're in a Christmas light bulb shape. So oh, it is pretty cute. Oh yeah. That smells like waffles. I'm not sure if I can smell the pumpkin right now, but it definitely smells like waffles. And a little bit of creaminess in there for the whipped cream. And it's getting all over my hands. It reminds me of the the soap that Bath & Body Works came out with this year, the pumpkin waffles one. But without as strong a maple note in here, which I, I kind of like. So next on the list is the whipped cream, and this is the one I got. You could get four different ones, and I got the scent Squirrel, which reminds me of, of Up, of course. But I feel like there was a different theme going on here that I have not seen the movie from. Probably National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, because I haven't seen that one, and I probably need to. Um, anyways, the description for this says, A festive blend of apples, sun-ripened strawberries, and plums dancing with zests of orange and a splash of lime. This one actually sounds really good. Mmm. It's pink inside. It's a little bit more perfumey than I was expecting. I was expecting super juicy tropical. It's probably the the apples that are making it a little bit more perfumey because I find that with apples it's really hard to get one that doesn't smell like apple scented things and instead it smells like real apples. But it is really nice. It's um, hmm, kind of like a florally fruit. You can definitely smell the oranges in there though, which is nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. Next on the list is the shower steamer and this one is called I Pledge Allegiance. Amen. And the description for this one is a brisk outdoorsy blend of blue spruce and balsam fir, fresh mint and garden herbs. Oh, that's going to be so good at the steamer. Wake up energizing scent. Oh, oh, yeah. That's super intense. And you can really smell like the the, pine, the balsam fir, like it doesn't smell like pine. It smells like a fir tree. <laughs> and it's minty, is there mint in there? Yeah, fresh mint. I really, really like that, actually. Some people aren't a huge fan of the savory type scents or like the strong menthol -y type scents, but I really love them, especially in like a shower steamer or like in a bath melt. And next, I think is a new product for them. It's a whipped soap and the scent is fried pussycat. And the description says juicy plum and whipped caramel wrapped in artisan bourbon, vanilla, uh, and jasmine blossoms. Oh, that smells nice. And I'm assuming that they're whipped soaps you could use in the shower or on your hands, either one. I have so many scents in my nose, it's hard to like make it out. Yeah, this one's really nice. It's it's quite light of a scent. It's not as strong as, say, the shower steamer. It doesn't quite smell edible, probably because they're soap in it, but it does... Oh, and the jasmine probably adds to that uh, florally type note. But it's very, very sweet. And you can definitely smell some of those bakery type scents in there. I think they were mentioning that they're still tweaking the formula for their whipped soaps so that they kind of hold up better in shipping. Because I think that some people were getting them and they were already like less than half full because the uh, the foam had kind of deflated. Uh, mine held up pretty well though. Ooh, I haven't had one of these from them before. The last thing on the list is deep conditioner and it's their third annual mystery fragrance. So basically... There's a $50 fortune cookie soap gift certificate up for grabs. Um, you gotta email your best guesses to them and a winner will be chosen. Man, I wish you guys could smell this so you could help me out. Let's see. Ooh, that smells nice. There's definitely pine. Some berry type notes to sweeten it up a little. Maybe some chocolate. Man, I am pretty bad at picking out individual notes. Oh, it smells so nice though. There's definitely pine and sweetness, maybe like some cream scents, and a little bit of fruit. I don't know. Oh, it smells so good though. I'm definitely gonna try and enter for that because it's $50 to fortune cookie soaps would always be a good time. And as per usual, I'm going to do the fortune cookie soap last. Scent is Tis the Season to be Merry, and they spelt Merry like the name. The description is a hint of sweet almond with warm swirls of tobacco. 
I guess tobacco would be sort of like a traditional Christmas scent because you always see like the dad by the fire with his pipe and the mom like crocheting or knitting and the kids playing by the fire, you know? Oh, the color's so pretty on this one. It's like, it's red, but it's got these, this gold shimmer throughout. It's really pretty. I don't so much smell tobacco in this. Um, it just kind of smells like a um, overall soapy, soapy scent with, with the almond for sure. And may, maybe like a little bit of smokiness from the tobacco. Nothing to, nothing that you wouldn't want to put all over your hands, right? And it's super pretty. I am so bad for just not using my fortune cookie soaps and just holding on to them because they look too pretty to use. I think I've used maybe one and a half of the ones I have. I used the very, very first one I got. Um, and it's still not gone, it's still sitting in my bathroom. But they're just, they're too pretty to use. What am I gonna do with these? I don't know. And my fortune says that there's an RV. Mm hmm. Probably another reference to a movie that I have not seen. So that's it for the fortune cookie soap box. And I will see you hopefully before three months has passed again. Thanks for watching, everyone, and make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram at Kai the Kiwi, Twitter at Kai the Kiwi, um, and my Tumblr is Kai the Kiwi Loves. So yeah, see you later. Bye.